no. Is it a new stream? Oh well. It's okay. I thought it was going to be the same stream. Is it going to be a new stream? I think it's a new stream. It's going to be the same stream. So, uh, if you go to slash dot, there's a random address in the middle of the country, and it's a scam farm. Okay, if you want to know what they're talking about, the whole world revolves around me. And, uh, if we reboot, um, let's say you make a function, u0 uh, hello, and you say hello, and you say hello. Okay, the address of hello is 7 or in this case it's 3F okay so this is I, I don't use paging I I do but I it's just I identity map so that it's just like I don't use paging I have to use paging for long mode to work but I don't want to use paging so I identity map. So for some reason, the goddamn MIT niggers cannot understand no paging. They think, oh, 7FFF is stack. No, it's not. How, if one task has 7FFF, what does another have? 7EFFF. Another has 7CFFF. That's the way you could do it. The point is, uh, it's not paging. Is there a high kernel? No, there's no, there's no, normally kernel memory is eight, or normally the upper half is kernel, or something like that. No, that's not what we have. It's really fucking simple. Why are you such a goddamn retard, nigger? It's a physical memory. That's what you have. You have fucking physical memory. This is the physical memory report. These are the addresses you have. There's no virtual, okay? It's identity. Okay, so um, hello is uh, 3F. So what is my total? My total that I, I have is uh, D, so what is that? About, uh, I think we're looking at three and a half four gig okay we, we don't have four gig we can have more than four okay so now we get into x86 architecture okay so if I say unassemble function hello there's a call instruction now look at this call it's got a 32-bit relative address. And this call instruction is calling print. So that means my system print instruction, my system print function has to be within 32 bits of this code. This code is at 3F. Okay, now do you see the problem? Let's say you had uh, 8 gig and you had a number up here like 2 and then let's say you had 8 gig now what is this call instruction going to do you can't use that call and the really bad thing is there's no there's no 64 bit there's there's not an instruction like this there's not a 64 bit instruction there's not one so what do you have to do if you want to call at a greater distance than than 32-bit relative. If you want to call at a greater distance than 32-bit relative, you have to move into RAX and immediate 64, and then you have to do a call RAX. 
Now, I, I said I don't want that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all my code in the lowest 2 gig. Okay. The, now, everybody knows 4 billion is uh, 1. Everybody knows 4 billion is 32 bit, right? 4 billion is 32 bit. Um, so if we put all the code in the lowest 2 gig, not 4 gig, 2 gig, the lowest, the lowest uh, 2 gig is, uh, okay, so the lowest 2 gig is 7FFFF, okay? So I call that the code heap. Now if you have, if you have a, if you have 8 gig, we have 8 gig, then I divide it up into 6 gig of data and 2 gig of code. If I have 4 gig, then I'm doing something else. I'm doing, uh, I do 3 gig of data and 1 gig of code. I think that's what I'm doing. That's how, that's how come we have a 3F. Um, this was a 3F, okay? That's because it, the, the code heap is uh, 1 gig. Okay, so uh, Bill Gates said 640K was enough memory. Well, I'm saying 2 gig is enough. Now, everybody fights the last war, a bunch of brainwashed little dumb fucks. Now, five years ago, how much memory did a PC have? 8 gig? How much memory does a PC have today? 8 gig? It's not going up. 8 gig is all you need. Okay, until there's a killer application, 8 gig is all you need. So 2 gig for code. Now the funny thing is, I set a 100,000 line limit on my code. So it's a no-brainer that I'm never going to have more than 2 gig. But anyway, 2 gig is plenty for code. Um, as a matter of fact, I even, uh, I even start putting global variables on on that heap if I say the address of I see that's down there too you can you can flip a you can flip a bit there's an option to put globals on you can put globals on the code heap or the data heap uh, a lot of people go well what's if you have some people don't know what malloc is so they might be confused everything else is malloc um, they're saying, oh, you have variables, you have code, what else is there? Well, malloc is what you mostly use. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, uh, so um, Linux has uh, system calls. They have to change to uh, protected mode. They have to change to kernel. They have to change from ring 3 to ring 0. We always do everything with a call relative 32. We don't ever change modes because everything is, is ring zero. And all our code is in the lowest two gig. And so you know what? We have the fastest, watch this. We are going to, uh, I'm going to swap this task out and do a round robin on the next task. We can swap in and out all the registers 4.6 million times a second we can change task 4.6 million times a second what are we doing <clears throat> we're not messing with memory maps we're um we're not messing with memory maps all we're doing when we uh when we save and restore a task is uh the registers and the floating point are 16 registers the floating point we remove breakpoints for the specific task. 16 registers. So if you have 3 gigahertz and you have about 16 registers and floating point is, uh, the floating point is 512 bytes for the state of the floating point. So I don't know, what is that? 16 and another, let's say 100, let's say 200 cycles to low, to, to save. 200 to restore you can see we're looking at about 400 cycles I'm, I'm just trying to do some rough math uh, now you can see how it's possible 
you can see how it's possible to do uh, four million four point. Let's 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 multiply. Let's take three oh 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 divided by four oh four six oh 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 oh. So we're we're spending six hundred cycles to save and restore. Now you can see how that's possible. We do not mess with memory maps. We, I've purposely made it minimal. So uh, somebody was wondering about. Uh, okay, so the, so normally when you um, if you have five gig, the um, the code is going to end up at seven f f f f f f. Why? Because it's a slab allocator and it slices off the top because that's the the quickest. So it slices off the top of the uh, slab of the two gig, and that's how come. That's the reason why these goddamn arrogant CIA niggers or MIT niggers are saying he's running code off his stack. Uh uh uh. No, it's not the fucking. It's fucking. No paging. What the fuck is your problem? He's running code off his stack. Fucking retard. So this person is saying my address is a scam. No, it's, it's fucking retard niggers who can't imagine anything other than... Did you know that the Commodore had basic? There's a lot of people... It doesn't have a path. Uh... Does that blow your mind? Uh, I explained earlier why. Okay, enough. This fucker is saying it should assemble with 32-bit. Uh, My operating system is 64-bit. I wrote a fucking 64-bit compiler. Okay, let me just show you something. In my compiler, in pass 3, I have to do register allocation. 